We need to bring in Trevor Mbide. Remember, today we were talking about safety and security, mm -hmm. and he's live for us from Fortin Riverside Complex, specifically at the Dusit Hotel, which reopened yesterday about 196 days or so since that particular attack. And, and one of our guests was informing us that in other countries, some hotels, it took up to two years for them to be reopened after horrible terror attacks. So this is quite a, test, a, a testimony, a, a sign of the resilience of that particular hotel chain and, and the investors who felt that Kenya is still the place to invest in. Trevor, uh, go ahead, please. You're absolutely right, where he gets a record six months and now the hotel has reopened. It is all about the Ducit D2 reopening and many Kenyans are likening it to the rising from the ashes like the phoenix. And I want to show you generally what's going on right now. It's back to business as usual. Several people are already walking into the hotel. I don't want to go in that close to them. They're just having their breakfast right now as we speak. And also on this other side, that's where the security features are. I wanted to show you what's going on. It's a very intense security checkup, but we also had to leave all our equipment out there just to research and ensure that they are exactly what we say they are. There are several guests who have also just come in already. They are just walking in as we speak. It's a continuous event right now. And like I told you earlier on, Wahiga, they're saying that it's not going to be a very elaborate event. What they're just trying to say now is that they've gone beyond the issue of the terrorist attack where they lost about 21 people. Six of them were from this very hotel. And like you can see, that's a general manager. He's the one I'll be speaking to later on, just welcoming some of the guests who have just come into the Ducit Hotel right now. He says that this is a very significant moment for him because right now it shows that they cannot be cowed by terrorist attack. And about 21 people lost their lives here and there were 16 of them were Kenyans as well. And right now I just want to go and speak to him and show you what's really happening right now to this speak. It's, a, it's, a, it's good to have you, GM. How Thank you? you for making time for us this morning. And and I want to just, sorry, just quickly for you, how significant is this moment right here? It is the greatest moment after 196 days, yeah. reopening the hotel again. The morale of the staff, even the guests, we have three guests who showed up for breakfast at 6.30. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing. Everybody's been waiting for the hotel to reopen yeah. and life is getting back to normal. I mean, what more can anybody ask? And we are really, really thrilled about it. Yeah. What kind of improvements have you made since that attack that happened here? Improvements, we have done some beautification to the hotel in terms of decorations, etc. But the hotel, it's the same as it used to be. Um, we've done, um, we've got a new chef on board. Uh, he's uh, worked on new menus. Our soy restaurant uh, is reopening as a Pan-Asian concept. And life is back to normal. Yeah. And bookings are coming through. Mm -hmm. People want to have events, meetings, and what more can I ask? Yeah. And is there any sort of training that has been done for the people who work here, henceforth on disaster response? We, since the, right, well, since the incident back in January, we've uh, spent a lot of time uh, training our colleagues. A lot of my management team has gone to Thailand uh, for further training uh, with uh, the Duzit brand. And it's just been a constant training for the last seven months. So we kept the staff occupied, busy. Uh, so it's training in, in, day out, and uh, everybody's ready for it now. Yeah. Yesterday there was a flag that was hosted here. What was the significance of that flag? The significance of the flag was that that particular flag was on the flag mast of the day of, uh, of the incident. And it has gone around five different countries. Uh, where we have Duzit properties. The flag was honored. They've done events and uh, promotions, both promoting the property as well as uh, the country itself. And yesterday was returning back home. He, the last post was Dubai. It was flown in by Kenya Airways uh, and it received uh, VIP owners at the airport. And hoisting that flag yesterday together with our Kenyan flag, it just signifies that it's a close of a chapter and it's a new beginning and also it demonstrated the resilience of our Kenyan fellows that you know we can't accept or a terrorist or anybody else to put our spirits down and from yesterday whatever happened uh, the whole procession the playing of the national anthem the last post it just it was very exhilarating it was just a fantastic feeling okay. so today do we have any elaborate plans or today it's business as usual it's just open for everyone to today come. is business as usual we already got a couple of events taking place this morning tomorrow we have another event booking so it's business as normal
All right. And uh, finally, from me, GM, the question has always been, how do you boost the morale of the people here? Because I saw you earlier on hugging, I think it was the chef. So has this attack made it more of a family now? And uh, do they have the morale to go for it? I, I believe so. You know, when, uh, let's say, a family, um, even an institution, goes through a tough time, it brings p- people closer. And that is one thing that we really work very hard over the course of the seven months to spend time with the associates. Uh, we've all gone through therapies, uh, consultations. We've been kept busy, and that brings the family together. And it's become a, a thing now. We we all start work by having to make a prayer, um, and it's something that it's rare. It doesn't happen that often, but when it does. People stick together, and the the biggest factor for me is that since this whole incident, I haven't lost any of my employees in terms of people leaving the company. They've stuck with us for seven months, and that's the excitement part, and that shows how united everybody is. All right. Thank you so much for making time for us, and congratulations. All right. Great. Thank you. And see, Wahiga and Zinzi, now that is how significant it is for the general manager. That was Michael Metaxas. He's the GM Doucet. And like he's mentioned, within all that six months, none of the employees have left. And he says that that attack made them even a closer family than they were before. And he's saying now there's been a lot of training that has been done for the people there as well, just to ensure that they know and they now know how to respond in the event of a terror attack. Then, like I mentioned earlier on, the security is quite intense, right? It's a very intense checkup. You have to leave almost everything as you walk in right from the gate. There are sniffer dogs there as well. So it's, they're not leaving anything to chance right now. But generally, the area is looking calm. And like he mentioned himself, it's business as usual as you can see people are just out around having running around they're having their own businesses there's several people having breakfast on the other side there's a lot of the renovation that has been done it's like i can show you just a few of them some pieces of art over there and like you mentioned there was a flag that was hosted here yesterday in honor of the six employees of Dusit who lost their lives during that attack there's several other people who lost their lives it was 21 in total 16 of them were kenyans but like they say this is a significant moment for them because it shows that they are rising from the ashes. And from that note, Daybreak takes a short break. I'll be speaking later on to the LGGM as well. They have some, for some of the people who are hosted in this building. They'll tell us how significant this moment is for them and how they intend to move forward after that adversity. <laughs> 